Hello everybody, Yankee Uniform 5 Kilo Bravo Mike here. Today on my bench we have a very very old transceiver. Uh, it is a Kenwood or previously known as Trio transceiver. Model is a TS510. Uh, this radio was produced from 1968 to about 1970s and it is uh, one of the first uh, TS uh, transceivers that came from Kenwood. Uh, the only previous uh, unit produced by Kenwood was a TS500 and it was produced in about the same period of time. Uh, this unit came to me in the pretty much complete shape, uh, the only thing missing was the power cord connecting the power supply and the radio itself. This is a matching power supply unit, PS510. I also have the external VFO but uh, not, uh, not much space on the bench now and it's also missing a power cord for it. Uh, this radio has been sitting for very very long time and uh, this would basically be a first power on after who knows how many years. Uh, I did initial check, measure a couple of components, make sure nothing will catch fire or, or explode, even if it does <laughs> you will also be able to see it. So uh, since the radio has been off for, for a long time, uh, let me switch the view here. Uh, we're gonna be using the variable uh, power supply or AC Variac uh, and we will bring the radio slowly uh, to the correct line voltage. I'm gonna turn off uh, the lights here really quick and then we're gonna start to raise uh, power bit by bit and uh, see what is happening. First of all I like to uh, turn the actual radio on and uh, advance the uh, AF or volume knob all the way up. Variac is on and we're gonna start to ri rise the power and we're gonna keep the monitor uh, our power consumption. We are at about 50 volts AC, I have a hundred milliamps of a current drop. I did spot this so we have a deflection in the meter no sound, I'm gonna be quiet just to in order to hear the components. So no sound at all, nothing's happening. Let's go further up a bit. 70, 80 volts and we have lights. Let me turn this light also. Yep, seems like the lights are turned on or starting to turn on. The antenna is connected, so let's go, yeah, once 110 milliamps. Here we are in 100 volts AC, no spikes in current draw, about 110 milliamps. We have light, still nothing coming out of the speaker. Hundred and ten, hundred and twenty volts, hundred and thirty, about one hundred and fifty milliamps of a current draw. I think we are getting the sound out of speaker. Let's go to one hundred and fifty volts. You see. 200 milliamps of current draw and yeah we have audio and actually we have received listen oh my god it works oh my god it works I hope you hear it it's very faint oh my god so uh, yeah, about 250 milliamps, 150 volts, so we're gonna go up a bit, 160, 170, 180 volts, AC, oh my god, it's coming alive, tubes are going into emission, nice, listen to that audio, okay, so it's time to... Lower it down a bit. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs>
<laughs> Holy moly, I think at least five to ten years this radio has been sitting. The, the amount of dust I took out of it and cobwebs and bugs and whatnot. I'm excited, very excited. 180 volts AC, about 400 milliamps. So everything is in spec. Oh my god. We are on the 80 meter band. I might have told you that. Wow. Wow, it works. Holy moly. Uh, Oh my god, where is the noise? There's there's no QRM or QRN. Let's go to 40 meter band. Uh, oh my god, it's working again. Here here we go. About 400 milliamps, 180 volts from the AC. Oh my god, it's working. Listen to that audio. There is no QRM. There is no QRM. Oh, yeah, let's try it. Uh -huh. Okay, so feel the switch. It's a this switch. FT8 just for checking the frequency, I guess. I don't really like FT8. Oh my god, it's working! Holy moly! Listen to this, there is no noise. The RF gain is working. Radio, thanks for the call. You're five by nine, over. Okay, eight minutes. Yeah, so we are at 800 volts. I'm gonna go to about 200. My call sign is Oscar. And it's even lower, of course. <laughs> and the light is white. Okay, yeah, I'm very excited. I mean, you can't really see the tube glow. Maybe on the final uh, PA tubes there. Uh, I need still to clean a bit more and uh, not more a lot and we need to replace a couple of compa components but wow I'm excited I am very very excited so yeah I had to build a cable to connect the radio with the actual uh, power supply unit and uh, Beside that, nothing else. You witnessed the first power on. Rolling propagations. Yeah, uh, we're gonna leave it running for about a couple of hours, uh, maybe four or five hours until I go to bed, and we're gonna test the transmit tomorrow. We're gonna let capacitors reform, and that's about it for this video thank you for watching wish you all the best and hope to catch you on the air maybe our first contact will be with this radio who knows 73s and all the best yankee uniform 5 kilo bravo mike bye bye